welcome back to World of Warcraft, Wrath of Lich King, Classic Blind. We're over here in Utgard Keep to do quests in Utgard Keep. I have spare water. I do not. Here is everybody. We've all made it here. We've got a little... 73 Dwarf Warrior. That's me. Level 73 Draenei Shaman. Eric's Butler. Level 70 Dwarf Paladin. Kalakush. Level 72 Night Elf Druid. Selther. And level 68 Draenei Priest. Domino. So, a good mix of levels here. And that's fine. Let us get ready here. An axe. Some sharpening. There's a quest giver or something. I mean, share the quests. That'll be nice. Let's go with critical strike rating, well fed buff. Got a log here. Share some quests. Already completed. Already on, already completed. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's go. Got the tank doing tank stuff. Oh, this is the first time I think we've done a dungeon where we can see how much health things have. These guys here have 35,000 health. So, still less than that one quest guy, I think. Look at all these guys. One at a time? Let's throw out some of this. Do a clean. Switch to the next guy. You're going to a frenzy. That's no good. Oh, here comes another guy. That's not ideal. Behind him. Do an execute here. Very good. So it looks like we got a lot of Vrykul guys in here. Makes a lot of sense. Let the tank get a hit in or two. Always a good idea. Alright, DPS. Um. Yes. Yeah, that guy's head in. Tank grabs him. Get behind the enemies. Mace of the Elder. Stamina and intellect and mana for a second. Yeah. Not really what we're looking for. Execute there. They have to switch him back to the other. Alright, we have some quests we need to do in here. We need to get Ingvar's head and vertical weapons. Like these, right here. Well, that is a impressive forge thing going on. My goodness. Alright, gonna kite them back behind here. Very smart. Wait to make sure that the other person is ready. All the mana bars are nice and prepared. I'm just DPS. I'm just here to hit things. Which I can pretty much do. <laughs> That's kind of the idea. Throw out some attacks. Yep. 
All these totems, buffs. They're doing all their, look at all this forging going on down here. That's pretty neat. Got some AoEs, some cleaves. All sorts of good stuff. I think I might just save some of my longer cooldowns for when we get to bosses. I mean, not that it's really gonna matter in the long run. And that weapon count is that part of the quest. That's alright. Vertical weapons. They're making plenty of weapons here. Hopefully, we don't need to. Dodge around anything here. Back behind him. We got enemies that actually exist for a few seconds. We can get a lot more going. Like, demoralizing shout. That's a thing we can do. Really, really has not been coming up recently with the whole all the enemies are so weak they die without us even needing to bother. Right, up in here. Hopefully there's enough of these for everyone to well, everyone that's on the quest at least to grab them. Try to share these all again. Already completed. It's already on. Oh, look at this. Enslaved Proto Drink. And this one, which is closer by. It's got 71,000 health. My goodness. Really don't want to waste this, because it only lasts 12 seconds. It would be a shame. Like, use that at the beginning of a fight. That'd be no good. A weapon over there. You got Proto Drake Handlers in, in the Enslaved Proto Drakes. Look at all this. Let's go for this. And a cleave. Another one of those. It's slightly barbecued here. Well, that's okay. Keep our battle shout up. Always a good plan. And a lockbox. Yay. But we also do have Death Wish, which we can also use. kinds of damage. And get whacked by a dragon. As you do. And they're still up. Let's take care of that. Okay. It's a shame we have to kill these drakes. But they are enslaved and all that. Find them. Stay close enough to the handler that we can get in. There are we. Generate extra rage. Don't really need to generate extra rage right now. We're doing fine as it is. Right, execute. Some caustic claws. Another Drake over here. We're gonna drag all these guys together, okay. Hold. I like it. Got some cleaves. Throw out some getting knocked back all over the place. Taking a little damage. I grabbed aggro. Well, also, the dragons seem to have a decent amount of 
giant fire breath attack. So I could probably also be doing it. Who else alive still? This guy. Let's get behind him. Alright. You have permission to loot that corpse. Must have clicked on something weird. Got two handed axes all. That's nice. There's, there's Slim. Okay. Mana. Everybody good on mana? I don't have mana. We're fine. Alright. Fine here. Start everything we got. He's gonna hurl a dagger. That's no good. Generally not what you want. Right. Yeah, I'm not expecting a huge amount of difficulty. Since some of us are higher level. Well, higher-ish level. 72 to 73. Still appropriate for the dungeon here. Ooh, we got Reaver's Hall. What are these guys? Prince Kaelseth. And a bunch more of these guys. Alright. So we're going to play this. Grab them. And, and essentially just grab everybody, basically. It's certainly a strategy. Oh. You've been confused or something. It's like a ticking time bomb. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Let's just keep on attacking things. It's probably fine. Some shackles. Get rid of any attack power. Your blood is mine. Oh, our blo the blood is mine. Alright, let's throw out everything we got here. Since this is more of a boss. It's got 192,000 health. Oh man, look at all this stuff happening. Throw out some AoEs on that. For sure. Not sure where the enemy is. See if he's gonna do something else here. Keep him weakened. Get some more. That going. Trying to do a frost tomb. Killing everything with AoEs. So that's good. And we got some executes going. And he is down. Got some male gauntlets with intellect, stamina. Generally, if it has any intellect on it, we don't really need it. This will be the last weapon we need. Hey, we did get it. Anyways. We got it anyways. Like that? Green? Receive loot. Reckle weapon. What's this? Reckle shackles. That was the previous one. Yeah, we did. We, did. we rolled a 98 for that. Yay. <laughs> Dragon Stealer's Gauntlets. Where's that at? I have selected green. Alright, it's fine. We're ready. Raise all over me. And we got all of the weapons we needed. So that's perfect. We're awesome AoEs here. Got some tunneling ghouls to deal with. AoE's gonna do a solid job here. Just over here. Tunneling. Grab up a nice pile of them all at the same time. Just 
keep on throwing out victory rushes. <laughs> because we can. We have Death Wish and Towering Rage at the same time. Both have the same box there. We got a lot of different buffs going. What are these crazy jumping things? Frenzied Geists. Oh. Hey, we time. Facing the wrong way. Unfortunate. And then just the Overseer. Clearly stronger. When you have this many enemies, you're probably in a non elite situation. Anybody else mining? Yeah, so. It's all good. I guess only one person can mine now, so there's not going to be any switching between hits or anything. So that's something to keep in mind for later. Okay. Got more weapons, but we already finished that quest. Let's see who he's all going to pull together. Oh, pretty much everybody. Everything going here. Clean. Another whirlwind. We got a lot of little effects on us here. We've been demoralized. That's unfortunate. And they're dead. Miller attack power reduced by 280. Ours reduces by 424 though, so I think we're winning that in exchange. Much more guys here. The tank get a good hit in. There are AoEs. Are definitely something to be aware of. Taking a bit of damage. Oh, taking a lot of damage. Healing potion. Get on some of this. Not on me. Dealing too much threat with all our AoEs we're doing. Clearly. Had to use a healing potion. Ain't that something. We could probably do a little bit better job of that. I think we also. It's gonna be a slightly larger situation. I mean, they're just sitting over there still, chilling. I think, yeah, it's fine. It's probably not fine. We're kind of continuing forward with four people right now. Eh. I'm gonna pull them back over this way, maybe, or wait on them. It'll be okay. We'll wait on the AoE. So the tank has a little bit more time to get some more aggro going. Probably a swell idea. I've already been confused or something. Alright. Turn him. Victory rush on this guy. To another tunnel here. This is the Jorn Stair. More frenzied guys. Not a huge issue. Just a regular level enemy. We know that. Thing back here. 
not too worried about getting extra orbs in here. We have a controller. Oh. Now they're on the controller. Well, I have four people. It's probably fine. See if you can muster the nerve to join my attack. That. Got some of this. Some of that. Some of everything. Want to slam? This guy's probably a healer or something. So we can everybody again. Or maybe the first time. Hard to tell. Lots of things are going on. Got some executes. A warrior set. Leather. Agility, stamina, haste, and attack power. Not bad. Very cool. Yeah, I think we're... Definitely looks like we're down to four people here. We got heroism. At some point in the past. So that's fine. Well, we fought a boss well enough, so. I think we're pretty much good to go here. He's up. Trying to move around. And this guy. Heart splitter. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> or, it's probably fine. It's like a balcony there. Once we're done with the dungeon, we can go back and look around at everything. Guess we got some rangers in this group. I get slightly more positioning required. Behind him so we can't be stuff. Like parried or whatever. Okay. And it looks like we're getting outside here now. Interesting. Tires Terrace. We got Savage Wargs and all that. Thirty-seven thousand health on these heart splitters. Not sure which heart they're splitting here, but dangerous. We got a cloth chest plate. And a cloth shoulder. Somebody's AFK. Didn't they, they like said they were AFK earlier, but then they came back a little bit, I'm pretty sure. Oh, look at this guy. Pro Drake Rider. Very fun. Got some knockback going. Always exciting. Fire attacks. Dangerous. And then the rider comes off. Makes a bit of sense. Looks like we're pretty much fine anyways. Not too worried. Alright, what do we got going here? There we throw it all out. One guy's already dead. Yeah, I don't think this is even with only four people, not a huge problem. That door over there is closed. 
so let's open. Ingvar the Punisher. Plunderer. That's what we need for this quest. He's talking to a whole bunch of Proto Drake riders. Up here above. Alright. Oh, please don't. Throw out some. Thunder armors here. Is it necessary? Clearly not. Roaring. And he's dead. Oh, for the death god, you say? I don't know about that. My life for the death god. Oh, let's stand behind this pillar. Failure will serve as a warning to all. You are damned. Arise and carry out the master's will. And hide the collar. I return. A second chance to carve your skull. And of course, coming back from the dead clears all of my Sunder armors. Or, probably was just time there, honestly. That's alright. Cleave's not the best here. Since there's only one enemy. And roar. Gotta stay behind him. And, good guard keep complete. Some chain spalders. Intellect and spell power and mana restore. That is very magical. Very not what we need. But we can still get his head. Perfect. Very good. We also got a buff here. Increasing shadow damage. Do my all. Went pretty well. Can't complain. Now we can look around the dungeon. This is... Oh, it actually has a map of the dungeon. Look at that. That's new. World map continent, Utgard Keep. Nice. Don't think we want to fall off this side. I don't think the dungeon maps are new. That's really nice. We can see we are up above this way. So we got like the. That is the way across. So we're up above the dam and bridge part. Which is weird because there's no water on this side. But okay. Let's take a look around the dungeon here. There's these guys over here that we didn't bother with. Oh, now this way's open. Ah, it's a water jump down to the bottom. Now we can't... Looks like we can't... I mean, we could probably land on these torches and kill ourselves. I think that's highly likely. This is a fast way back out of the dungeon. Maybe you can't land on it. We have not had good luck with falling in water recently. Alright. This is just the flooded basement area. Very cool. This is going to leave the dungeon. Or right, it's gonna go. I'm gonna go look around the dungeon some more. Actually, I'm looking around. You don't get to you don't get to appreciate the dungeon when you're going super fast. The furnace of hate is what this room is called. My goodness. All right. Yeah, there. He's over there in the furnacey part of the furnace. You got there. Burning hot anvils, ready to go. A mighty furnace indeed. Wonder if we can do any blacksmithing here. Sure, looks like you might be able to. It's definitely, it's definitely an anvil. Definitely an anvil. Wild. Smoke is all going up to the top. Luckily, 
Hopefully it's only blasting fire that direction. I can see that being a mechanic where the fire like moves around to the different sides. And you have to dodge it. That could definitely be a thing. And these are the dragon flare pens. Where they had the dragons. But now they have nothing. Pretty linear for a dungeon. Not, not like I expected a super complicated. <laughs> They're back now. Welcome back. <laughs> we finished the dungeon without you. <laughs> uh, no worries. Reverse Hall. Looks like we got some other paths in here. And they're getting some of the weapons. Let's go over here, this way. We can't go... Can we get up here? It looks like another path. We can get ourselves stuck in that. They got, like, blocked off from the side here. I do want to jump up there. It's probably not possible. I guess it's not really a path either. That one just goes into a blocked tunnel. And that one's a door. It doesn't look like we can get up over there. That's alright. See the, what they got going on here. This is where they are concocting a meeting room. It's like this is. We got ships coming from this way. Different towers. Places. Look at this. We even got a map here. Ice paint, Dragonfire Pen, Reavers Hall, No One Stair. It's interesting that's not on. I mean, I guess it is on the mini map here. That makes sense. So yeah, they got their whole war table going here. Very neat. Very large pieces. Very impressive. Let's keep looking around. Yeah, it does not look like there's a way that way. That's alright. <laughs> it's the whole run. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know if you get the achievement if everyone else in the group just finish the rest of the dungeon. They didn't tag the boss, but they were in the group and finished, and the final boss died, so. Damn. This is the stairs here. Looks like this would connect. Over to there, but they have the cave in, so. Can't go that direction anymore. And we have another barred door over on this side. Some boxes. They've named just this staircase. Must be a pretty. I mean, would you be a very important person to have a staircase named after you, or not important at all? <laughs> Another cave-in. Broken tables. Soup. What's in the soup? <laughs> We've got... Carrot. Fish. Possibly potato. And it's apparently a very thick soup, so... We're probably th talking stew at this point, because you can stand on top of it. I would like to. I would like to be soup. <laughs> nice. I am delicious, clearly. All right. Looks like they could have dropped these port calces. Probably should have done that with the crazy guys stampeding through. We were also taking out everyone in our way. So, 
they didn't have time. Got this whole place. Spiky chains on the side of the staircase, banners and such. Just looking around. Big fun shields. Another barred door. Another caved in door. And the boss's body is gone, so we didn't wasn't able to pick up the quest loot. That's unfortunate. That's just a wall. Here we have a lookout from over the staircase. You definitely have somebody important up here at the top of the spiky staircase. Nice look over the area. It's weird that the boss's body would be gone when there was that guy down there apparently still had stuff on. I don't know exactly the despawning mechanics of things. It depends if it has loot on it still. And you think you think it would have had loot on it since yeah, this guy here? Also here. Hmm. Very curious. Yeah, I think there's supposed to be water here. So if we look on the map map here. Yeah, this this is supposed to be an island. And especially with the dam right there and the waterfall and the waterfall is coming into this area there's definitely supposed to be water here but it's not because this is an instanced zone I, if you enter the if I enter the vehicle here yeah that works and leave while out of bounds um, how do I leave Can't do that right now. I need to. Should be a get out of. Oh, I am. Nope. I'm over here now. I get in. I'm not entirely sure how to get out is the problem. I think... Looks like I jump back... Underneath the main part of the map. So that's fine. Wild. It looks like there's a decent amount of fail save for that. That's a good idea. So we didn't kill that guy. I mean, we might not be able to. He does have the spiky chain there. But yeah, there's definitely supposed to be water over there. I mean, they, they thought about everything except for the fact that there's no water here. <laughs> if we fall off here, will we die? I mean, if we even... I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing for getting out. I'm here. Stepping in. I burst into dance. I'm still inside. <laughs> see illusions from the instances. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. If I just... I click on here to get in. You'd think I could get out. Help! <laughs> Movement doesn't do anything. Alright, let's go back down here. This is fine. 
Oh, it threw me out before he could jump that way. And he's dead. <laughs> well. <laughs> Probably something with the mount jumping in there. I'm gonna try to jump off this way. If we can get up on top of this railing, we should be able to jump into the water. But we're technically in an instant. So they got, I mean, they do have chains but not around the entire area so I'm just saying oh, it's probably still still counts as out of bounds but we could totally jump on there if we could it's got our mount uh, nope not allowed I was thinking oh an amount I could double jump nope not Elden Ring. <laughs> Not a thing here. L let me just jump off into the waterfall. Into the dam. You're no fun. I am going to make sure that I get off my mount here. So I don't possibly die at the bottom here. And this is a very interesting exit here. Just big hole. With water at the bottom. Pretty convenient, all things considered. Oh, ledges. It's a dangerous place out here. Or in here, I suppose. Let us get out of here. I think we'll just make the trip back to the dungeon or from the dungeon so that's that portal there we go very good let's walk back outside here and get back to town a successful dungeon run I would say Back in Worm Skull Village here. He's up there. What if we can get... Yeah, we can't get up there from this way. There's a quest there. Quest to turn in, at least, or something. Box not yet, mate. Stay sharp, Eric Jackson. We're not out of the woods yet. Disarmament. You pinch a load of them vertical axes? Yes, I did. More dung whistles. We just look at them. Incredible. I half expected these Neanderthals to be swinging around clubs and throwing rock. No such luck. You get an amulet, magic. A pendant of strength, stamina, and critical strike rating. That's not bad. Doesn't have hit or expertise, but kind of at a point we don't super need that. It's an option. It's got more strength equivalent than our attack power. It also has critical hit, critical strength. That's not bad. And a necklace with spell power, and intellect, and stamina, and magic. Strength, stamina, defense, and parry. Ooh. That could be our necklace of tank and stuff. How much stamina does that have? 42. And also defense, and also parry. That's pretty solid. So we have. We got, we got the main hand, the crossbow, the head, shoulders, chest, wrist. Hands, waist, legs, feet, and two rings. So I'm going to take this tanky, tanky necklace. Seems like a solid 
idea. And also, 40,000 experience. Watch, get her back. Which isn't really as much as you would think. Just... Since we need... 1.5 million for a level. That's still okay, though. And now, now we head back to Melgar. There's Pox there. He's just walking on the sky. He's got a dragon, so I think he's allowed to do that. I'm not gonna tell him no. I'm not gonna tell him no. They're chopping. And also throwing their axes at us. Dodge! They got Homan axes. Very dangerous. Alright. Get back in town here. And we really don't have a main keep area here. We've got the inn, a tower we can't go inside of, and like a tent area. Which isn't ideal. Need help? Into Utgard. Good to see you well, Eric Erickson. We've had about as many casualties as we can handle. Well, we got Ingvar's head here. You wonder yourself about the proper etiquette for holding the disembodied head of another. I, I think you hold it by the hair and wave it around like a trophy. Outstanding. This could be the turn of luck we've all been hoping for. Well done. We got a ring here with stamina, critical strike, and attack power. Stamina spirit, intellect, and spell power. And spell power and mana per second, so this is the one we need to care about. We would lose hit rating on both of our current rings, but gain attack power, stamina, and critical strike. Either way. We still need, I think we still do need a bit of hit rating since we're dual wielding. How much stamina does it have? 31? And that's the same as here. Armor penetration and attack power versus critical strike and attack power. Uh, that's a significant upgrade on that. I'll take this one for now. For the Alliance. That'll give us Violet Signet here. It's level one. I think there's upgrades you can get for this. Well, it's Violet Signet one, so yeah. But I don't think we're going to be getting the things that upgrade it at any point. So right now it's just giving us the stamina hit rating and attack power. And our other ring we have is stamina hit rating, attack power, and critical strike. That's very good. What is our hit rating at these days, anyways? 141. Chance to hit increased by 7.1%. And armor penetration. Maybe armor reduced by 6.3%. 7. I think we also have talents. That's increasing our chance to hit. Somewhere in here. That's damage from offhand. Precision. Chance to hit with melee is by 3%. So I think that would give us, like, 10%. And armor reduced would just be more damage, maybe. I think that's still in a good spot, really, as we currently stand. And we are going to get plenty more upgrades as we continue into higher level content. Because this is still, like, level 68 to 70 out here. So this is the starter zone, and you start level 68. And we're already 73, so realistically, if we miss out on some good drops, we're just going to get better stuff anyways. Really don't need to super care about that for quite some time. Just pop in here. Sell some stuff. Would you like to purchase something? I'm just gonna sell it to this guy. This is Soulbound. 
And the, the vendor and disenchant prices are so close, it doesn't really matter. Just sell everything. Talons, some hooves, some crafts, some healing potions. We got tails and fangs. That. Here the auction price is higher, but... Again, it's the lowest level green drops. So, don't really expect too much for the auction price to actually be accurate. Just sell them here, it's fine. Got some other legs here, soul bound. Soul bound claymore, supplies, magical shield. Here we have this necklace. Yeah, again, I like the hit chance and expertise right now. We, we need at least a little bit of that still. I probably. <laughs> That's got less stamina than this one by a wide margin. Not really a tanking necklace by any means. <laughs> Sell that. Got some soulbound boots. The robe of spirit. Seal way. We can open this clam if we want to. So the lichen. This one has a much higher disenchant. I want to actually disenchant that one. Claws. This one's soul bound, so we couldn't disenchant it even if we wanted to. And then we have this ring. Soul bound. That's right. This salted venison is just food. It's no good. Very well then. All right. So we'll save this for disenchanting later. I'll open this clam though. Oh, that was a massive loss. <laughs> Succulent clam meat. Yeah, the clam itself sold for more. I guess that's... It's like a box. That's still definitely more valuable on the auction house, at least. Alright. So that clears out the dungeon quest we had there. So we're back to... Doing more stuff over here. Probably continue where we were last time with the guano and the cleansing, wherever those are. I will look into that more specifically and get back over towards where we need to be. So we can continue on next time. Goodbye.